use your team. No matter how good you are, no matter how structured or just plain blessed, your brain is going to run out of space eventually. If you think about the added stress that being put, watched puts on you, that space is going to run out even faster than normal. Structure is going to mitigate that, preparation is going to mitigate that, but nothing is as beneficial as being able to use your team well. It's just as important in simulation as it is when you're running real calls. If you can utilize your team well, give directions and build a shared mental model, you can keep as much of your brain space or your bandwidth free for all the thinking you need to do. When you're stuck, you can try and work through things yourself, but no matter how good you are, you can always miss something you do actually know, and your team can catch it. Now, there's one simple trick that I always tell people when it comes to making the most of the team around you, and it's about how we phrase questions. People have a natural tendency to say no to questions, so you need to avoid questions like, do you have any ideas? Because people just almost instinctively say no, unless you've really practiced together quite a lot. What generally works better is asking questions which imply the person has to answer. So you could say, what are your questions? Or what have I missed? Both of these kind of force the people you're asking to say something. So next time you're stuck, remember to make the most of your team. Thousands are raving about our best-selling 100 Patients Scenario book. And so we started creating the expansion books to go along with it, including the cardiac arrest scenarios. We have the airway scenarios pediatric scenarios and the MCI scenarios and you can get this entire bundle at the link in our bio.